Hey everybody, Logan here. Welcome to, well, I decided to call this Sega Sundays. So again, like I said, I put out um, a poll, I guess at the end of last year now, about what you guys wanted to see. And it looks like you, you, you want to see more retro stuff. Uh, more Super Nintendo, more Nintendo stuff, but more retro. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little nice. I'm gonna spread the love. So today, every Sunday, you're gonna get Sega Sundays. So I know I have this theme, this thing with themed video series like Turtle Tuesday, Mighty Morphin Mondays, and Force Fridays. So yeah, what the heck? Why, why not? Why not Sega Sundays? So with the first episode of Sega Sundays. It was originally going to be, I guess you can call it a box opening, but I wanted it to be a bit more than that. And why? Because I, I guess you could say this product has been out for a little bit, but not this variation. And that variation is the Genesis six button arcade pad. Now this is made by Retrobit. I do have another one. I'm going to show it to you. And it's officially licensed for the Genesis, officially licensed by Sega. And it's almost identical to the original six pad, a uh, six button arcade pad. So I thought this was pretty cool. Of course I had to get it in red. I do have uh, different variations of it. I never got the plain black one from them. Uh, I got the USB version. This one is specifically for the Genesis and the Sega CD. And the ones I'm going to show you, cause I'm gonna compare it to uh, two others, are specifically for the Genesis. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get into this first episode of Sega Sunday and take a look at this pad along with a couple of others. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. All right, so as you can see, we've got a six button arcade pad, pretty similar to the original Genesis box, uh, except for, well, retro bit. Now I don't have an original Genesis box. I never even had an original Genesis back in the day. I don't even technically have an original Genesis now. What I do have, well, besides the, uh, the Mega Retron by Hyperkin, I have the Genesis 3. The Genesis 3 was the third the variation of the Genesis, but it wasn't made by Sega. It was licensed, but it's still a Genesis. I'm not sure if you can see it here. Majesco. It is actually made by Majesco. So a lot of people didn't know this. I have the original box and well, fingerprints. Um, I have the original box and all the cables. Uh, I bought this from a store called CD Trader in South Florida. And uh, later on, I found out one of my friends had actually sold it to him and I bought his Genesis 3 without even knowing it and I ended up buying his blue uh, original DS at the time too not knowing and I found out later yeah those are the ones he traded and I was like dude dude <laughs> but oh well it is what it is so I have that that's my original Genesis we're actually gonna plug it in unfortunately I don't have any way to connect it to an HDTV the only other way I usually play Genesis stuff is through the Retron 5 or the Mega Retron. Mega Retron is what I use in my office, and I have the Retron 5 here in my game room. But I don't have any of the capture stuff, so uh, we really don't need to test this out. This, these have been out before, they've been out for a long time. We're just taking a look at this controller being the new red one, and we're going to compare it to... Well... This is the original Genesis controller. No, not the first edition, not even the second. This is the, this, I guess the one that came with the Genesis 3, the one with the, the turbo mode. And that's interesting. As you can see, doesn't even have any, any other information. Now, yeah, it's got a little ooh, fray in the wire. That's why I don't use this one too much because of how you know the wear and tear on it but it is nice to have and unfortunately i guess over the years it was like that when i bought it so this is the original now hyperkin has come out with one since and this is the one that i bought um no this is the one that came with the 
the Mega Retron. Now it has, this is one thing I've never understood. Tell me if you guys know, what is this mode button for? I don't know what the mode button is for. And I never bothered to read up on it. <laughs> so, and this isn't the only Genesis controller I have, but it, the thing is, I thought it would be something different, but it's only working for the Genesis. Does it have something to do with Sega CD? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. I've never looked it up. So as you can see, it's very similar to the original, but not quite. So, and this one is a bit smaller. Uh, this is a variation from my understanding. It's the, the third variation. So we have that one, which is really nice, very similar. And then we have, ah, you're like, what? This was the original one to come out before this one. They come out, they came out with a, a black wired one and a blue wired one, both in USB and Genesis form. Now this one's a little different. I bet you're saying, why are there extra buttons on it? This does work the Genesis. How it works for the Genesis, you might ask? It uses this. This plugs into the Genesis, plugs into... the front of the Genesis and wireless receiver. Very simple, it's a Bluetooth controller. And it'll work with all models of the Genesis. Also works with the Switch. As you can see, you got Home and Select, and then L and R. So I bought this to use with the Switch, knowing that I can also use it with my Genesis. This was a big uh, plus for me, and I use this quite a bit. These don't do anything in Genesis games. These do, and it feels fantastic. It's a great controller, built-in battery, rechargeable, micro USB, and yeah, it's a fantastic controller. Now this one, is pretty much going to be the same as this one, minus the other features. Let us pop this one open, because I have not opened it. Now, I did get this uh, before the holidays. I ran into it. I've actually been looking for this one for a while. I was going to get it through limited run. I think their initial order was through Valentine's Day, and uh, I wasn't able to get it. I totally forgot about it. I went to buy it, and then it was all sold out. Uh, I think I saw it through Castlemania Games, if I'm not mistaken, but it was a little more expensive than I wanted to pay, and I was like, eh, I'll see. And then I saw it at my local game shop, Cybertron Games, for $14.95, and I was like, mine? Because I, I didn't know it hit retail yet. So, here we go, there we go, nothing in the box, nothing in the box. That is nice. So I like how they put that plastic on it. What do we have back here? Thank you for your purchase. There we go, put you over here. There you go, and you're supposed to play it with the plastic on it. No. That's cool. I don't remember mine. I don't remember the blue one coming with that. Yeah, it's fighting me over here. That is a gorgeous red color. And of course I have to buy it in red. If you have to ask, you're watching the wrong channel. <laughs> that is nice. It feels solid. It doesn't have the weight like the other one because there's no battery. As you can see, it actually just connects right to the, the board here. And it's a very simple controller. Very nice. Like I said, if you compare it to the original, very different. I don't have an original six button. Closest thing I have to an original six button is going to be this one. So there you go. That's the wireless blue, wired red. I had to get it. That's a gorgeous color. Love the red, love the blue. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, so there's no clip or anything. It just plugs right into the Genesis. Ooh, that's a little tougher. Let's be careful. Oh, that's a little snug. That's a little snug. Let's try this. Okay. That worries me. And there's, as you can see, there's nothing in there. There we go. It's just a little snug. You plug it in. Good to go. Sega. Still says Sega because it's officially licensed. Says Sega Genesis on it. And it's good to go with your Genesis, your Retron, uh, Mega Retron, Retron 5, whatever. 
uh, system you have. I'm pretty sure, haven't picked up a Polymega. I do want to get a Polymega this year and hopefully this works with it as well because yeah, the only real way to play a Genesis game is with a Genesis controller. Yeah, the Retron comes with a Super Nintendo style controller, but eh, it has the ports for, well, the Retron 5. It has the ports for Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and Genesis. Always use a Genesis controller. It's just the right way. That is a gorgeous red. Tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching this inaugural episode of Sega Sundays. Don't worry, it's not going to be all box opening. I've got plenty of games. I've got plenty of uh, stuff to show you. Uh, yeah, I've got all kinds of great Sega stuff that I've really acquired over the last maybe decade or so. Because growing up, I was never a Sega kid. I only had a Game Gear growing up. So, yeah. I'm really happy to be getting into Sega. I know Saturn, it's tough. We're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on the Dreamcast. We're going to touch on the Genesis. Yeah, I, I know the Master System is a thing, but I never really... Uh, uh, yeah, you guys might go, oh, Master System, and I'm like, oh, Master System. But I love the Dreamcast, and it's, it's my favorite Sega system. That and the Game Gear. We're definitely going to be hitting on the Game Gear. But, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Drop it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Six Sundays, the very first one. Uh, head on over to our socials. Follow us over there. Check out redbandanagaming.com, of course. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Like we always say. Don't hit your control. Like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again.